blessed are you, O Lord our God, who reigns over all the universe in love, who led Sarah and Abraham and their children in hope, who freed the enslaved children of Israel from Pharaoh's Egypt, who fed your people with manna in the wilderness and the words of the prophets, who went into exile with your beloved people and brought them home, who came among us in the human life of Jesus, who broke the power of sin and death by dying on the empire's cross, who has gathered us by your Spirit's pull from all nations and languages, who leads us onward and feeds us still, whose love brings resurrection and renews all creation. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise for all his faithful, the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. reading from 1 Peter. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honorably among the Gentiles, so that, though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honorable deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. praise, our thanks, our deepest selves, and all the places your beloved world hurts. Heal the disease in our bodies and in our hearts as well. 
where we are coldly indifferent, hold us in the fire of your love. Where hatred infects us, remove its poison. Where we are bent in on self, turn us outward to you and our neighbor. Where we are dead inside, call us back to life, that we might be your wounded hands and feet, raised up for your work to make all things new. God, whose love embraces all the world, who loved us when we were far off, estranged, and enemies of yours, come and be our help. We struggle to love others. We have been hurt and wounded. We are upset at those who have harmed us, at those we care about. We struggle with bitterness inside our hearts, and we wrestle with how your justice and mercy can meet in all this mess. Help us, help me, a child of yours, whom your love still seeks and claims when I am turned away from you, to seek good for all people, even those I most struggle with, those I have trouble accepting, and those I fail to love. I pray not for their victory over me or mine over them, but for you to win over us all for your will to be done in and through and among us, leading us into that promised day when lambs and wolves lie down together, weapons are beaten into plowshares, and bitter enemies can be reconciled in your fierce, relentless love. the 